St. Augustine had two expressions in Latin for the two dimensions of the church's life. And I'll give you the Latin. There are only a couple words apiece. And then my, uh, I have to admit, rather creative translation of it. Uh, St. Augustine said the church is both, these are both at the same time. These are not. Uh, one after the other, even though they sometimes appear that way. In statu vie and in statu patrie, uh, statu here, the ablative case for those of you who know a little bit of Latin, it, it's very close to the uh, English word status, and you could easily translate it that way, the condition of or the status of. And here, the via, the genitive case, is uh, the road, the way. And here, the patria is uh, one's homeland, the homeland, or the father, or the fatherland, or motherland. So the two dimensions of the church's life are, I like to say, on the road, is the dimension of struggle and effort, the ascetical life. It is expressed in the liturgy through things like closed doors and fastings and prostrations, such things that Eastern Christians are well familiar with. And at home is expressed by what's usually the opposite of those things, feasting and the open door, and, and light, and being with the Lord at his table in his kingdom. And these two dimensions of the church's life correspond, I would say, also to two inner states that we have. And we have them at the same time, really. Sometimes one is more prominent than the other, but they're both there at the same time. The condition of inwardly struggling along to remain faithful as a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ with the obstacles that we have to contend with both from inside us and from outside us and all around us, the visible ones and the invisible ones. So we have that on the road dimension within us also, but then with that is the realization, and it should be a realization, and a realization not simply in terms of a piece of information, but the realization as an experience, the realization that, as St. Paul says, all things are yours, and you are Christ's, and Christ is God's. And he has, St. Paul says in the epistle to the Ephesians, he has raised us, literally, St. Paul's Greek says, far above the heavenlies, he says, usually the, the English translation is far above the heavens or the heavenly places sometimes, but the literal is, he has raised us far above the heavenlies in Christ Jesus where we are enthroned. And St. Paul many times, particularly in the Ephesian letter, uses this expression as something that is, not something that he says, well, one day when we've gotten to the end of the road and we finally are at home, we then will be with the Lord above the heavenlies in the kingdom. St. Paul says that Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done this. It is accomplished for us.